say yes for a 40 minute stretch you know like uh, even Friday night in the first half we were 10 for 17 for the field which is pretty good offense um, you know we've shot a high field goal percentage number so far in conference play it just hasn't been a little bit erratic and so uh, for a full 40 minutes I thought it was you know and we didn't we didn't call a lot of set plays we didn't um, you know we, we kind of had a stretch where we went to a bunch of set plays three or four times in a row and I thought we were getting a little bit ahead of ourselves with you know some quick contested jump shots and we wanted to try and change the pace of the game for us offensively we did that um, but yeah I would say consistently it's probably our best offensive performance of the year. Did your team go through a little bit of blue or whatever it looked like game uh -oh. off or sickness? Um, no I mean no, they, I, when came on one, one out of the game you won. No, no, no. He, uh, he, uh, he had banged his hip, and so that was he was going down to discuss things with Jason and try and stay loose. And, and then I, I don't know why he continued to stay down there, but God damn it. Yeah, um, you know, Aaron Tate is uh, our most consistent human being and player that we have in our locker room. And um, that was why he plays so many minutes, because we trust him time and time again that he's going to be in the right spot, he's going to make the right effort, he's going to make the best decision for the team. And, um, you know, he was able to finish tonight, he was able to rebound, his positioning was excellent, as always defensively. Um, he's a guy who is 1,000% about team. and. Um, you know, we love coaching him, and, and we probably don't tell him enough how much we appreciate him. We try and remember to do that from time to time because, uh, you know, sometimes we get distracted by other things. Uh, and then, obviously, Dre, you know, everybody's seen the potential in Dre. Uh, it's just a matter of him being able to do it on a consistent basis. And for whatever reason, when he was in uh, shoot around today, he was really engaged. He was lively. He was... Uh, you know, trying to dunk everything, it just seemed like he was ready to play. And uh, obviously got on the floor and was able to produce and was active. Um, still had a couple breakdowns that give me some pause. But, uh, you know, if he could sh he, if he could continue to do that, I think it would, would help our team dramatically to give us some offensive balance, some rim protection, you know, some of those things that we need. With further play, uh Ready to go, and you know who's engaged mentally. Uh, 
because it's not like your physical gifts leave you. It's not like Drake couldn't jump, you know, last week or, you know, or couldn't, you know, rebound last week. Or it's just how engaged you're going to be mentally to be able to perform at the level you need to perform at. And, um, you know, it would be nice if we could get some, some more consistency, as we've talked about previously. But, um, you know, we'll keep giving guys shots based on how they practice and how they prepare. Do you think your guys... Um, possibly, but I don't, I don't know if we can turn it into something more than it is. Uh, I don't know how what we do when we do that. You know, I think we have to get them to the proper level of preparation and respect for what we're going to face. But I don't think we can make it a do or die situation or a you know giant weekend in our fourth NEC weekend. Um, I think we have to talk about us continuing to improve and make the right decisions and prepare for Thursday night and handle Thursday, um, win or lose, and then prepare for Saturday. Second part made a run in the second half. You decided the same. And they got close. Somewhere in the team. They're rough. Lucky. Marquise stepped up against the team. Is that the sign of the jury versus the I hope, you know, uh, they obviously all have the capability to, to shoot and score at a high level. And, um, you know, Lucky obviously has been shooting the ball much better. And, um, you know, hopefully it's something that we can continue to rely on. But, you know, I think the, the biggest thing we need to consistently hang our hat on is how well we're going to defend. And um, we can't be erratic in our urgency and effort on the defensive side of the floor like we've been at times. Uh, this was Lucky's game, and we've talked about it all year long, is his activity level. You know, when he, and it's not just him, it's most players. When you try to score, it makes it hard to score. You know, like, uh, I think Marquise is probably one of the only guys we have that has that ability where he just knows he's going to go and get shot attempts and have good opportunities to score. Um, I think when guys go out there looking to make shots or looking to score instead of looking to make the right decision based on the game, I think you get yourself in a tough spot. And I think Lucky's effort level, obviously his rebounding level has been through the roof for these first six games. Um, you know, he, had, he had 35 rebounds after our uh, first four, and then he had 20 in these two games. You know, so he's up to 55 rebounds in six games, which is a pretty high clip. Um, and we always talk to Lucky when he's playing hard. Somehow the ball finds its way in the basket for him. And there's a lot of guys like that. And so um, hopefully he can maintain the same level of, of effort and then be able to find open shots or free throws or, you know, a couple cheap buckets here that gets you your points. Your As Marquis, at this point, possibly exceeded what you expect or what you hope for. Yeah, he's close. I mean, not only the 24 tonight, but the six rebounds and the five assists is, you know, pretty impressive. And, um, no turnovers. No turnovers. I mean, we'll, 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 we'll still stay on him about his defensive urgency, but um, yeah, I mean, he's been really impressive, and um, we're thankful to have him on our team. How important is it for offensively for the trio of, of Lucky, Robbie, and Marquise to score 61 points tonight combined? Is that like, a, I mean, how important is that for the offense when those three are all going? Yeah, I mean, that's when your offense is going to be at its best, but, uh, you know, I think consistently we need two or three of them to be, you know, scoring the ball. You know, if teams are going to try and take one of the three, the other two have got to step up, and then you hope you get another guy that can, you know, provide some points. And then those guys got to be accepting of the fact where maybe there's some nights they don't get 14 or 16 or 11 shots. Okay, tonight I only got seven shots. All right, did we win or lose? That's the most important. And the seven shots I got were the good quality shots that I had opportunities to knock down. And then the next night might be your night, and I think everyone's got to be okay with that if we're going to be a successful <coughs> team down the stretch. Are you thinking that you know, the Elijah uh, might back the, uh, for the game on there, there was the time hit for uh, for the Patriots to kind of uh, so kind of the start? Uh, we're hoping so. Um, a lot of it's going to be based on, on uh, how he responds and how he acts. Uh, question? Uh, 